is your first Alert 5 weather with Sam Schreier. Good afternoon, everyone. Beautiful cumulus clouds up in the sky. There is weak moisture here at the ground. So we're seeing these beautiful clouds shouldn't really get much if anything for showers and storms today, but there's some drifting through the region. Man, the wind. We kind of knew that would be the biggest thing about today, and that's certainly coming true. It's out of the north at 24 miles per hour in Pueblo. It's 23, but we've had wind gusts. Pueblo, by the way, 71, and that's awesome. The wind gusts have been in the 30 mile per hour range. So Woodland Park is at 41 on the other side of the mountains. We're blocked off a little bit from the wind. It's a little cloudier here too, so it's 41. It's very chilly in Woodland Park. And then we get over towards Trinidad. Beautiful blue skies a little farther down the interstate. We can open the air up, get it warm. It's 67 degrees and dry. The wind gusts are still in the 30 mile per hour range from Springs to Pueblo down to Trinidad out to Springfield, La Junta. But a little farther west, they're not bad at all. So what we think is going to happen is as we go through the afternoon, the wind field will start to die back a little bit. Not as much wind coming in from Denver anymore, and it'll be more comfortable to be outside. If you wanted to go do a walk around the block or a jog trees, that pollen is lofting around. I was feeling a little bit today. I had the windows open last night, and I think some of that came on into my place. So the jet stream forecast, despite this gusty wind at the surface, which is actually a little bit more pressure driven at the surface, we don't have that much wind up above tumbling down. Now that's going to change the next two days. We'll get a little bit more energy for showers and storms tomorrow, but Colorado under high pressure today, just a few weak showers over our mountaintops. The bigger story is this giant low pressure system that's helping to provide quite a bit of strong to severe weather across the Midwest, moving over to the south, keeping forecasters pretty busy out east. We take a look at our radar, our high resolution Doppler radar, just some weak echoes of showers over the mountains, and actually I saw a little bolts of lightning crossing right over from Kiowa County into northern Bent County. But again, with the air as dry as it is, like nothing's hitting the ground. And the air is so dry, the modeling actually barely recognized the showers that are there as being present. It knows for the next two hours, we'll continue to see weak showers, mostly over the mountaintops. Very little, if any, actual rain comes out into the plains. And what does? The air is so dry, it's not going to hit the ground. So we actually just kind of focus on how today continues to be quite nice all the way through the end of the afternoon. On Thursday, we will have some more showers and thunderstorms later in the day. The air remains very dry tomorrow with dew points around 30 or less. It's going to be tough for rain to hit the ground, but we still do have to include a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Could see some more rain on Friday. Air's a little bit more saturated, so maybe some of that has a better chance of hitting the ground. But the rain chance is kind of pulled back in our newest modeling. And then we're dry and we're warming up towards the weekend. In Pueblo, we are seeing temperatures in the 70s over the next two days. Showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. A chance of showers Friday, but don't get too locked into it. And then we look towards the end of the week. Check it out, Pueblo. Monday, Tuesday, almost 90 there on Tuesday. We're finally starting to get some warmth in. Canyon City, some showers and thunderstorms. I'd say it's an okay chance tomorrow. A few more showers, maybe a little thunder there on Friday before we go into the 70s over the weekend. And finally, we've got a Woodland Park where over the next two days, some snow could get mixed in with the showers. That chance is much better on Friday, maybe an inch or so, but that's not a great chance of it. At least some rain mixed in and warmer Monday, Tuesday.